My dear the beloved in Christ, in the Old Testament, God himself prescribed the habit or garment Aaron was to wear as high priest. And sacred scripture calls it a robe of glory. We can apply these same words to the brown scapula, the habit given to St. Simon Stock in 1251. For the last 767 years, it has been faithfully worn by true children of Mary as a sign of their consecration to her. In order to thank God for his mercy in sending us his garment of grace to us through Our Lady and to stimulate our love for the sacrament of the church and annually celebrates the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel on July 16th. This holy habit, the brown scapular, is indeed a robe of glory because it signifies our consecration to the Mother of God, which will one day lead us to the robe of a glorious immortality. My dearly beloved in Christ, to understand the origin of the brown scapular, we must go back to the first age of the Catholic Church. Holy men and women who had been converted by the apostles on Pentecost Sunday gathered together on Mount Carmel near Haifa, Israel, in order to lead a deeply spiritual life of prayer, penance, and good works. They erected a chapel to the Blessed Virgin Mary on Mount Carmel where they honored her in their daily prayers as a protectress of their order. For this reason, they're called, they were called Brothers of Our Lady of Mount Carmel or simply Carmelites. At the beginning of the 13th century, two English noblemen on their return from the Holy Land brought several Carmelites to England in order to found monasteries of their order. St. Simon Stock, the son of the Marquis of Kent, entered the Carmelites, made his solemn vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, and later departed to Jerusalem. In 1247, he was elected as the superior general of the order. Even as a boy, St. Simon Stock had a deep devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. One day, as this saintly religious was praying, the Queen of Heaven appeared to him surrounded by a multitude of angels, holding in her hands a brown scapular, which originally was a large garment and still is. She gave it to him, saying, Receive my son, this scapular of your order, as a sign of my sodality and of the privileges which I have obtained for you and the children of Carmel. All who die devoutly vested with the scapular shall escape the eternal flames. It's a sign of salvation, a preservation against dangers, and the pledge of a special peace and protection to the end of ages. On many brown scapulars, we find a summary of Our Lady's words. Whoever dies clothed in this scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. This was the first promise which Mary made regarding the scapular. She made the second in an apparition to Pope John the Twenty Second. She said to him, John, the high dignity of vicar of my divine son which you hold, you owe to me. And, in, and as in, inasmuch as I have delivered you from the snares of your opponents, I ask that you shall confirm the order of Carmel, which has ever been faithful to me. And if among the religious or members of their confraternity who depart this world, there should be found any whose sins have occurred the punishment of purgatory, I, as their tender mother, will descend among them into purgatory the Saturday after their death, those who I find there. I will deliver and lead to the blessed abode of eternal life. My dearly beloved Christ, these are the two great scapular promises. These promises were declared as authentic by several popes, as St. Alphonsus Marie de Ligori writes in his book, The Glories of Mary. The truth of these promises is also verified by thousands of miracles wrought by the power of God 
through this brown scapular. In order to be a member of this confraternity, two things are required. A priest must enroll us in the brown scapular, and secondly, we must wear it around the neck until death. When your scapular is worn out, replace it with a new one. The old scapular should be burned and the ashes should be buried because it's a blessed object. If you're a good Catholic and practice the Catholic Christian virtues, we have part in the first promise of our Blessed Mother. We shall die a happy death and escape the everlasting fires of hell. In order to obtain the benefit of Our Lady's second promise of delivery from purgatory on the Saturday after our death, we must fulfill certain conditions. First, we must observe chastity according to our state in life. Second, those who can read must also daily recite the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And those who cannot read must abstain from meat on Wednesday and Saturdays, except on Christmas, when this feast day falls on one of these feasts, one of these days. But if you recite five decades of the rosary each day, you're not required to pray the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary, nor are you required to abstain from meat on Wednesday and Saturdays. My dearly beloved in Christ, the brown scap that was personally given to St. Simon Stock by the Mother of God to distinguish her dearest children. Devout Catholics have devoutly worn it for more than 760 years. Since then, thousands of businesses and institutions have crumbled away. But the brown scapular, like all things that come from heaven, has remained standing in spite of all opposition. When Our Lady sees us vested in her scapular, she obtains many blessings for us. These great spiritual benefits include perseverance in God's love and friendship, protection from spiritual dangers that we may sometimes find ourselves against our will, grace is to advance in the practice of virtue and in the fulfillment of our religious duties. The brown scapula is enriched with many indulgences. Sadly, due to our weakness, we daily commit so many sins and faults. Holy Scripture says even the just person falls seven times a day in Proverbs 24 by faithfully wearing the scapular and by kissing the brown wool we can gain numerous indulgences that can shorten or even eliminate the temporal punishment due to our sins if we desire to obtain many spiritual and temporal benefits we should devoutly wear the brown scapular that glorious habit given to us by the queen of heaven let us wear it faithfully. Let us have great confidence in its spiritual power and let us kiss it with reverence. By doing so, we give a clear proof of our love and attachment to Our Lady. In return, she will preserve us from the fires of hell and after a short purgatory, if necessary, to atone for the temporal punishment due to our sins, our Heavenly Mother will take us to the kingdom of heaven. And His infinite love for us, Almighty God created us to inherit the happiness of heaven and to escape the fires of hell. To escape hell means to possess heaven. The brown scapula is a sign that we shall never enter heaven, never enter hell. At the same time, it's a pledge of eternal life in heaven. If we worthily wear the brown scapula and die while wearing it, Our Lady promises that we shall be with her and her divine Son forever in heaven. Blessed Cloud de la, de la Colombie has written, There is no devotion which renders our salvation more certain than the scapular. If Our Lady graciously affords her favor to all the devotions in her honor, how much more will she do so in favor of those who wear her holy habit or scapular? And Sister Lucia Fatima said, the rosary and the scapular are inseparable. By wearing the brown scapular, we enter into a contract with the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Mother of God receives us as her dearest children, while at the same time she bids us to lead a virtuous life. Our Lady gives us a pledge of our eternal salvation, but also requires that we do not commit habitual sins or voluntarily place ourselves into the proximate occasion of sin. 
Through her scapular, Mary obtains abundant graces for us, but she requires us to make good use of them. Our Lady promises us her special protection, and on our part, we promise to amend our lives and cease to offend God by our sins. When we're enrolled in the scapula, the priest says, may the Lord grant you to live well. May he grant you steadfastness ever to persevere in good and thus happily to arrive at the inheritance of eternal life. My dearly beloved in Christ, Our Lady of Fatima appeared as Our Lady, as Our Lady of Mount Carmel to show us the importance of devotion to the scapular. Our Lady of Lourdes appeared to St. Bernadette on the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Our Lady of Fatima asked us to consecrate ourselves to her Immaculate Heart. Consecrate yourself willingly and give her all. Remember that the faithful wearing the brown scapular is a sign of your surrender or consecration of all to her. The Blessed Virgin Mary will guide you to do what's most pleasing to her divine Son. She will lead you to be more faithful to your baptismal vows, to avoid sin, and everything that leads to sin, to lead a God-centered life in union with her and to persevere in the practice of your Catholic faith. I'd just like to close with two short stories. Um, first one, my mother told me um, she knew someone f near Detroit who had been um, aware of the wonders of the scapular, but had been li living a very wayward, sinful life. But she had said that, I, I'll just make sure I'm wearing the scapular and I still will go to heaven. It doesn't matter how I live, basically. And then uh, she got in a real serious car accident. And they rushed her to the hospital. They had to do some surgery, took off her scapula, and she died without the scapular. As it says in the Gospel today, not those who say, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my heavenly Father. And then finally, St. John Marie Vianney, the patron of all parish priests, was gifted with a special insight into souls. A woman preparing to enter a convent made her confession to him. He reminded her of a dance she had attended some time before at which a handsome young man had danced with many others but would not go near her. The curé had no way of knowing about the dance but reminded her of some blue flame-like light under the man's feet. And the woman remembered perfectly. You were jealous of the others and hurt because this man would not dance with you. My dear, he was a demon and danced with those in serious sin. He kept away from you because you were wearing the scapular. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.